heat heat during cold weather every individual has a tendency to rub hands the rubbing causes friction between the palms of hands which causes warmth hence we say that friction produces heat what happens when you suddenly touch a glass of hot water or an ice cube you will feel a sensation of hotness or coldness this happens because there is transfer of energy in both the cases thus heat is a form of energy which makes any object hot or cold energy is transferred from one body to another because of the temperature difference between the two bodies the energy transferred from one body to another due to the difference in their temperatures is called heat energy activity if a candle burns the chemical energy is converted into heat energy when water falls from a great height to the earth its temperature increases hence the mechanical energy is converted into heat energy when a body is heated its energy increases and when it is cooled its energy decreases unit of heat the si unit of heat is joule the other unit of heat is calorie one calorie can be defined as quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 g of water by 1 degree celsius 1 kilo calorie is equal to 1000 calories cal 1 calorie is equal to 4.184 joule is equal to 4.2 joule approximately effects of heat when an object is heated it undergoes many changes some of the effects can be felt and some cannot be some effects of heat are given here change in temperature when a body is heated its temperature rises which depends upon the amount of heat received by the body from the source of heat when a body is cooled it loses heat energy and its temperature falls the extent of rise or fall of temperature of a body depends upon the quantity of heat gained or lost by it we can say that if heat is the cause temperature is the effect change in size when a body is heated an expansion occurs in it due to this the size of the body may change the expansion of a body due to heating is called thermal expansion when a material is cooled it contracts heat also accounts for chemical changes which are irreversible and form a new substance with different properties example baking of a cake heat also affects living organisms that's why water is boiled for purification change in state there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas when a body is heated there occurs a change in its state on heating a solid changes from solid to liquid when this liquid is further heated it starts boiling and changes to gaseous state conversely when a material present in its gaseous state is cooled it loses heat energy and changes to liquid state on further cooling it changes to solid state the change of a substance from one physical state to another is called change of state the effect of heat is summarized in the form of a flow chart as shown here fusion or melting fusion is a phenomenon in which a solid changes into liquid by absorbing heat melting takes place at constant temperature is called melting point which is different for different substances for example the melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius ice solid melting at 0 degree celsius gives rise to water liquid freezing freezing is a process in which a liquid changes into solid 
by giving out heat at a constant temperature. The temperature at which freezing takes place is called freezing point. For example, freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius. Water, liquid, freezing at 0 degree Celsius, solid, gives rise to ice, solid. Vaporization or boiling Vaporization or boiling is the process in which a liquid changes into gaseous state at constant temperature by absorbing heat energy. The constant temperature is called boiling point, which is different for different liquids. For example, the boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius. Water, liquid, vaporization, boiling at 100 degree Celsius gives rise to steam, gas. Condensation The process in which a substance in its vapor or gaseous state changes into liquid state at constant temperature by releasing heat is called condensation. The temperature at which condensation occurs is called condensation point. For example, steam changes into water at 100 degree Celsius. Therefore, the condensation point of steam is 100 degree Celsius. Steam, liquid, condensation, cooling at 100 degree Celsius gives rise to water, liquid. Sublimation In sublimation, a solid changes directly into gaseous state by absorbing heat without changing into liquid state. Such substances in their solid state are called sublimates and in their gaseous states are called sublimes. Some examples of sublimates are camphor, iodine, naphthalene and ammonium chloride. A substance sublimates at a constant temperature is called the sublimation point of the substance. Evaporation The change of a substance from its liquid state to its gaseous state at any temperature is called evaporation. For example, water vapor is always present in the atmosphere due to the process of evaporation. Hot surroundings, movement of air and large surface area speed up the process of evaporation. Scientist Anders Celsius was a Swedish astronomer. He was professor of astronomy at Uppsala University from 1730 to 1744 but travelled from 1732 to 1735 visiting notable observatories in Germany, Italy and France. He founded the Uppsala Astronomical Observatory in 1741 and in 1742 he proposed the Celsius temperature scale which takes his name. Celsius conducted many geographical measurements for the Swedish general map and was one of the earliest to note that much of Scandinavia is slowly rising above sea level, a continuous process which has been occurring since the melting of the ice from the latest ice age. However, he wrongly posed the notion that the water was evaporating. Good conductors and bad conductors of heat those materials which conduct heat readily are called good conductors of heat and those which do not conduct heat readily are called bad conductors or insulators of heat. Examples 1. All the metals are good conductors of heat. Out of them, silver is the best conductors of heat. Then copper, aluminium, iron, etc. 2. Wood water, air, cork, paper, wool, glass porcelain and thermocol are bad or poor conductors of heat. All liquids other than mercury and gases are bad conductors of heat. Choice of conductors and insulators in day-to-day -day life. 1. Good conductors of heat such as metals and alloys, namely copper, aluminium, brass, etc. are used to make cooking utensils as they cook food quickly and efficiently 
because they allow the heat to conduct easily from the flame to the food inside. 2. Handles of metal utensils are made of insulators such as wood, baked light, plastic, etc. so that they do not get heat and one can hold the handle with their hand. 3. We normally wear woolen clothes that are bad conductors of heat in winter to protect ourselves from cold. 4. We use brick and mud to construct houses as they are bad conductors of heat. 5. Blocks of ice are usually converted with cloth or sawdust to prevent them from melting quickly. Temperature When we touch hot water and ice, we feel coldness of ice and hotness of water. Temperature is defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of a substance. When two bodies are at different temperatures and brought in contact with each other, the heat flows from the hot body to the cold body. The flow of heat will continue until the temperature of both bodies become equal. Measurement of Temperature The temperature is generally measured in degree Celsius. It is denoted by degree C. There is another unit of measurement that is degree Fahrenheit denoted by degree F. The SI unit of temperature is Kelvin K. Scale of Temperature The most commonly used temperature scales are Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale and Kelvin scale. They are related as Celsius minus 0 upon 100 is equal to Fahrenheit minus 32 upon 180 is equal to Kelvin minus 273 divided by 100 or Celsius upon 5 is equal to Fahrenheit minus 32 upon 9 is equal to Kelvin minus 273 by 5. So, these can be easily converted from one scale to another. To convert this Celsius scale into Fahrenheit scale, Celsius upon 5 is equal to Fahrenheit minus 32 upon 9 or Fahrenheit is equal to 9 Celsius upon 5 plus 32. Celsius is equal to 5 Fahrenheit minus 32 upon 9. Celsius is equal to Kelvin minus 273. Fact A vacuum flask keeps a hot liquid hot or a cold liquid cold by keeping the transfer of heat between the contents and the surroundings to a minimum. Temperature of a body can be easily converted from Celsius to Kelvin simply by adding 273 with Celsius temperature. Example, 100 degrees Celsius is equal to 100 plus 273 is equal to 373 Kelvin. Methods of heat transfer Whenever there is a difference of temperature, heat starts flowing from high temperature to low temperature. Hence, the transfer of heat from one place to other can take place in the following ways. 1. Conduction 2. Convection 3. Radiation Conduction The process of transfer of heat in solids by the active participation of medium particles without leaving their original positions is called conduction. Example, a person passes the ball through other persons standing between him and the bowler. Activity Take an iron bar. Put some wax on its one end. Put the other end of the bar on the flame of a burner. After some time, you will observe that wax starts melting at the other end which was not heated. It means that the heat has reached to other end where wax was fixed. This shows that heat is transported from hot end to the cold end because of difference in temperature. When an object is brought near to a source of heat, the molecules closer to the source get more energy. When these molecules collide with their neighbors, they transfer some of the energy to their neighbors. 
दीज मॉलिक्यूल्स नाउ कोलाइड विद अनादर सेट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स दिस इज हाउ हीट फ्लोज फ्रॉम अ हॉट पार्ट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू अ कोल्डर पार्ट इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद इट इन दिस फ्लो द मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट डू नॉट मूव दस हीट इज ट्रांसफर्ड थ्रू एन ऑब्जेक्ट विदाउट द मूवमेंट ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल्स दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर विदाउट द एक्चुअल मूवमेंट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स इज कॉल्ड कंडक्शन एक्टिविटी टेक फोर रॉड्स ऑफ डिफरेंट मेटल्स से आयरन कॉपर एल्यूमिनियम एंड सिल्वर द रॉड्स शुड बी आइडेंटिकल पुट इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ वैक्स ऑन वन ऑफ देर एंड टेक स्मॉल मेटल कंटेनर मेक होल्स इन द कंटेनर and insert the rods inside the container so that the end having wax is outside as shown in the figure put hot water in the container the end of the rods inside will get heated this heat will start flowing to other end where wax is coated the wax will start melting in silver first copper next then aluminium and then iron this shows that Silver is the best conductor of heat. Conductors and insulators. All metals do not allow heat to pass through them with equal ease. Some allow heat to pass faster through them whereas some solids do not allow heat to pass through them. Activity. Take two rods, one of iron and the other of glass. Put small nails at each rod with the help of the wax on these rods the other end of these rods are exposed to flame of a burner you will notice that nails in iron rod will fall due to melting of wax while in the glass rod the nails do not fall on the basis of the activity we can say that some materials conduct heat and some do not conduct heat hence Materials which allow heat to flow through them are called conductors. Examples: silver, iron, copper, brass, aluminium, etc. The materials which do not allow heat to flow through them are called insulators or non-conductors or bad conductors. Examples: glass, air, plastic, rubber, wood, etc. applications of good and bad conductors the materials which are good conductors of heat are used in the transfer of heat one good conductors of heat are used to make cooking utensils but bad conductors of heat are used to make handles of cooking utensils so that we can lift these utensils easily two blankets and quilts are used in winter The cotton and fiber are poor conductors of heat. Hence, the heat of our body does not escape and we feel warm. 3. Insulators like bakelite, ebonite, dry wood are used for making handles of electric iron and cookwares etc. 4. Ice is wrapped with sawdust to prevent melting. This is because sawdust is loosely packed. it contains trapped air which acts as an insulator convection the transfer of heat in liquids and gases takes place by a process called convection in this process the molecules move from hotter part to the colder part of the liquid or gas let us understand it with the help of an activity activity take a beaker Three fourth filled with water. Put some crystals of red potassium permanganate in it. Now heat the beaker from the bottom. You will notice that the red particles of potassium permanganate will start rising and falling. This happens because water immediately above the heat source becomes lighter and rises up, and cool particles, being heavier, come down. The process continues. till the temperature becomes uniform throughout the water this is called convection hence convection is the process of transfer of heat in which the particles pick up the heat energy from the source and become light and move up in this process the actual movement of particles from hot region 
to cold region takes place. The process of transfer of heat in the fluids by the actual physical movement of the medium particles is called convection. Example, a person himself goes and hands over the ball to the bowler. Applications of Convection 1. Ventilators are provided near the ceilings in the rooms of our house. The hot air from our breath is lighter and so rises up and goes out from ventilators. The fresh cool air is heavy and comes inside from doors and windows. Hence, circulation of air is maintained inside the room. 2. The cooling unit in refrigerator is fixed near the top of fridge. The reason is that hot air becomes lighter and rises up. And when it comes in contact with cooling unit, it becomes cool and comes down. Hence, all the articles inside the fridge remain cool. Formation of land and sea breezes During the day, land gets heated faster than water. Hence, air above the land being hot rises up. The cold air above the sea being heavier takes its place. Thus, convection currents set up giving rise to sea breezes. Wind blows from sea to land. At night, the land cools faster than water. The air above sea being warmer rises up. The cool air above the land blows out to sea. Thus, convection currents set up giving rise to land breezes. Wind blows from land to sea. The present in between them is called radiation. Example, a person throws the ball towards the bowler. The heat energy which is transferred heating the space in between and which does not require any medium for its transfer is called radiation. The thermal or heat radiations can travel in vacuum with speed of light. That is, with speed, 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. Sun rays come to the earth without any intermediate medium. They are also reflected like light radiations. 1. Dark and dull surfaces are good emitters of radiant heat energy, while bright surfaces are poor emitters. 2. Dark surfaces are good absorbers of heat energy, while light or bright surfaces are good reflectors of heat energy. Applications of Radiation 1. Cooking utensils are painted black at the bottom because black surface is good absorber of heat. As a result, the cooking will take place faster. 2. White clothes are preferred during summers than colored clothes. The reason is that White color is a good reflector of heat, while colored clothes can absorb more heat from the sun. 3. Inside surface of a solar cooker is painted black so that it can absorb a large quantity of heat from the sun and cooking can be faster. Thermos flask Thermos flask is a special type of bottle which keeps hot substances hot and cold substances cold for a long time. It is also called vacuum flask. The thermos flask was invented by Sir James Devar and sometimes it is also referred as the Devar vessel. Construction Thermos flask consists of a double-walled glass vessel having a vacuum between the walls. The bottle is placed in metallic case having non-conducting materials like cork or sponge in between, the outer surface of the inner wall and the inner surface of the outer wall are silvered. The mouth of the bottle is fitted with a cork stopper. Working In a thermos, the transfer of heat is minimized in these ways. 1. Through vacuum, both the process of conduction and convection of heat are not possible as they require a medium. 2. The cork stopper prevents the transfer of heat by convection. 3. Silvering of the vacuum tube minimizes the transfer of heat by radiation. This is because polished surfaces are both bad radiators and good reflectors of heat.